Now we are taking you over to Raymond Glenn Denning, who is in the grandstand at Epsom, to hear some of his impressions of this year's derby. Ridden by WH car drawn 12, and Mr. Stanley Whitten's Firestone, ridden by S. Robertson and drawn 19. Now those are the runners and the draw. And now, as there's quite a while before the race is to be run, let's leave the busy scene in the rings and the enclosures and the paddock where the horses will have to be walked around for quite a while before they come out on parade and concentrate on some of the people who've come here to spend Derby Day in the traditional manner, right in the heart of the horseshoe, on the downs with all the fun of the fair. And we have a travelling hand microphone out there and I'm going to hand you over right away to my colleague, Brian Johnston. Well, this is Brian Johnston here, and although this is a bit outside my line of country, I've been asked to come over this side of the course to describe the scene to you, and I must say it's terrific. We've got the gypsies here, we've got the roundabouts, tipters, in fact, all the fun of the fair. Oh, yes, one moment, here's someone of very special interest. Excuse me, sir. Look, we're doing a broadcast from here, and I know listeners would love me to introduce you to them, and I know they'd be delighted also to know we have the stalwart, or should I say the bull, work of British <laughs> films here with us. Um, now, perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your many fans who I know are listening. Listeners, Mr. Gerald Barclay. Oh, thank you, Brian. I must say this has taken me completely by surprise. Well, I always make a point of never, never disappointing my public. Now, what should we talk about, Brian, eh? Well, I expect you've been to a good many derbies in your day, haven't you? Oh, more than I care to remember, yes. Oh, right. yeah. Well, now, are you enjoying yourself? Oh, I'm enjoying myself enormously, yes. You know, strangely enough, Brian, I had no intention of coming to the derby today. Hadn't you? No, I, I'm really here in the course of duty. I was won in a raffle. Oh, you were the first prize? Well, I was one in a raffle. Oh, I see. A sort of day out of the derby with Gerald Barker, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yes. And the winner is this charming little French-Canadian lady here, Mademoiselle Michelle Therese Adrienne Jolivet. 